Hello everybody, Dr. Don Klum here, and I'm doing a follow-up on the hormonal man. This is going to be quick, okay? This is going to be very quick, and I want to lead into this by first saying to the hormonal men out there, it is not your woman's fault that this is going on, and it is going on. If you didn't see my little presentation last time on the hormonal man or the nine testosterone cycles in men, go back and watch it, both men and women. It'll give you a foundation for what I'm talking about because after that post, man, I got all sorts of messages from women. A couple comments on the thread from men, and maybe some women, but the women came out and private messaged me all over the place saying, oh my gosh, you described my situation to a T. You described my situation to a T 10 years ago. I wish I would have known then what I know now. That really shakes you up. So what we're going to go into today is a short video. We're going to four things. If it's not your woman's fault, and the, way I, the reason I say that is because men can't see this problem often as it, as it starts to come up or when it's brought to their attention. So the first thing to think is it's not me. Nothing's wrong with me. It's her. See it, you got to go somewhere because you might even know somewhere that there's a problem, but you don't know where to point it. And the first reaction is, it's not me, it's them. Now, women, if you hear that, that's okay. That's the beginning. We got to get past that. So, if it's not them and it's really you, what's causing this? Why is this happening? And you're not broken, but there's some things that have set this up, and let's go into that. Number one, your nervous system. Your nervous is something called your sympathetic, parasympathetic balance. All right, I call that the neurological tone. It all uh, attenuates or, or promotes your fight or flight response. And women and men have a different fight or flight response. I'm going to do a follow-up series for each one of these. I'm not going to go into depth right now. I'm going to do a hyper-focused presentation on each one so we can talk about it and get you the information you need and then get off the, the subject Okay, and move on. So, number one is fight or flight. The way, okay... Number two, hormones. We all have the same hormones. We don't have the same amount and they don't affect us in the same way, but we all have the same hormones and the way men and women express those hormones, especially in a time of stress, depending on the neurological tone that's backing it up, will determine the outcome or the behavior of that person. And we'll go into that. What makes it different? We touched on it big time in the last video with the nine testosterone cycles in men, so you can review that to start. Number three is the provider role. The provider role, or the type A personality, or the executive, or the the worker, the overachiever, the, the workaholic, all these different terms that, that have been labeled on men over time create a certain role and the way they handle, incorporate, and have stress. That comes through and it creates part of this problem and I'll explain why and how we can overcome that when we know what's going on. Number four, society. Look, women, I told you, it's not your fault. You are not the cause of this. Understand that. Even if it's blamed on you by outside people or by your man, I'm sorry. It's not your fault. You did not cause this. This is his problem. But if you are part of his life, if you are in a relationship, if you've been there for years, you have intertwined into his reality. And that's just the truth of the matter. And that's okay. It's still not your fault. It's still not any less his fault, but that's the reality you play a part. And so, us, who else plays a part is everyone else in society. If you look back, and the reason why a lot of this is missed is because it falls under the category of early to moderate levels of depression. But, for the last 60 years, especially in the 50s, when depression was starting to come on the scene, that was a woman's problem. Diagnosed by the male doctors. The first pill for the woman's depression problem, or the different terms that they used for it was called mother's little helper. It was a sedative, not even an antidepressant. Talk about a, a bad start to this. And then as it builds, society creates different roles to how men and women should respond to stress and they don't overlap. We build our roles as the provider. We start to see a problem. The hormones are different, but we treat them the same and we look at the nervous system and the stress response and we expect everyone to have the same reaction to stress when Men and women don't have the same reaction to anything. Why would stress be any different? So we'll go into this. And these are the four topics. Why do men build up and get to the point where they're hormonally reactive? Where they can apparently change overnight, even though that they didn't. When they can blow up over nothing. When they can be mad one minute and not the other. 
when they can go down a negative cycle all the way to the point where they want out, out of a relationship, out of a family, out of a job, when that does not measure up to the problem at hand or, the, or their life at hand. They have a happy life. So a lot of these thoughts are magnified by the situation that we'll go through. And again, the reasons are the, the nervous system response to fight or flight, the hormones and the way they react, and depending on the condition of the body that has the hormones, and then the provider role that they accept and we've built up over time, and then the society at whole and how we address these different relationships and how we address how people respond to, to stress. I hope that helps. We'll hit each and every one of these over the next week or so with a, its own Facebook Live stream uh, video so you can watch that. They'll be recorded. They'll be posted. You can check them out. I hope that helps. And women, understand that this is a problem. A, this is a problem. B, it's not your fault. And C, there is something that can be done on both sides and you're not alone. I, got, I can't tell you, I got over two dozen different personal messages and private messages and emails about the topic from a couple of days ago on, on male hormones. So you're definitely not alone. We'll talk more about this. We'll get this thing covered. And if you like anything and if you learn anything and you want other people to see this, look, we don't. We have to dig to find this information. This is not on. This is not stuff we're going to talk about. Is, is right on the surface. So, if you think there's other people out there who might need this information, especially woman to woman, that you know might be suffering with some of this, or in the relationship, or men out there, if you know this is you and you know this is a friend of yours, and you want to kind of thump it over to them to see, share, share it up, spread this word, and get on board and watch out for the next ones to come, and give me your feedback. Keep those messages coming. Comment on the post if you don't mind it being out there for everyone else to learn and, and to see as well. That's how we all learn. That's how we raise our tribal intelligence. That's how we raise our community health intelligence, our health IQ, and that is the ultimate goal. Go to yourwellnesstribe.com, subscribe to everything there, like it up, share it up, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.